The Arthur radar system, a crucial piece of technology in modern military operations, embodies Sweden and Norway's commitment to advancing military capabilities in the face of growing challenges in contemporary warfare. Its development not only emphasizes counter-battery operations, but also reflects broader strategic goals, particularly in enhancing defense systems for protection in highly dynamic and rapidly evolving combat zones. At its core, the Arthur radar provides an unmatched ability to detect and track hostile artillery, offering precise location data to enable swift and accurate counterfire. This capability is especially valuable in an era where enemy artillery is often employed in hit-and-run tactics, seeking to inflict damage and quickly relocate before being countered. The system's ability to detect the trajectory of shells, calculate their origin points, and relay this information rapidly to artillery units or command centers enables an immediate decisive response. One of the Arthur system's defining characteristics is its versatility in both tactical and operational settings. It can function independently as a medium-range weapons locating radar or as part of a more expansive, integrated network that combines multiple radars for greater coverage. This network-centric capability allows for persistent surveillance of a designated area and enables rapid reaction to shifting enemy artillery positions. This flexibility is vital in scenarios where fast-paced movements and shifting front lines demand rapid adjustments to surveillance and fire support. The technological advancements across Arthur's various versions have significantly expanded its capabilities. The initial Mod A, with its ability to detect enemy artillery at ranges of up to 20 kilometers, was groundbreaking at its time of introduction. However, as artillery technology advanced and battlefield demands evolved, the system adapted to provide higher accuracy and longer detection ranges. The Mod B saw enhancements in both the range and precision, enabling the radar to track mortars at up to 40 kilometers, while the Mod C took these improvements even further, offering tracking capabilities for rockets at distances approaching 60 kilometers. The increased detection and tracking ranges of the Mod C made it an ideal tool for modern large-scale conflicts where artillery fire can come from long distances and with increasing sophistication. Um, the latest Arthur BULR Mod D takes these improvements to another level, featuring a much wider detection range up to 100 kilometers and a capacity for tracking over 100 targets simultaneously. These capabilities give the radar system a level of effectiveness that ensures it can be deployed even in the most complex and congested battle spaces, where multiple threats must be tracked and countered at once. The Mod D's increased operational range and arc of coverage, up to 120 degrees, make it highly adaptable to different tactical needs, particularly in areas where enemy artillery is dispersed and difficult to locate. The Arthur system's ability to function in diverse operational environments further enhances its utility. Designed with mobility in mind, the radar system can be deployed on trucks or vehicles, facilitating easy transport to forward positions. Um, its capacity to be carried by a C-130 aircraft or slung under heavy lift helicopters such as the Chinook means it can be rapidly deployed and repositioned, making it a key asset for light mobile forces. This flexibility ensures that the radar is highly effective for rapid response missions, particularly for airborne, marine and special forces units. In addition to its deployment on the battlefield, Arthur can also be used in a variety of settings, from conflict zones to humanitarian missions, where protecting civilians from artillery attacks is a primary concern. Sweden's strategic philosophy, emphasizing self-sufficiency, rapid mobility and minimal footprint, is deeply ingrained in the design and deployment of the Arthur system. The radar is optimized for a defensive posture, ensuring that Sweden's forces can detect and neutralize threats swiftly while protecting their own assets. Um, the system's role in preventing artillery barrages from targeting civilian areas 
aligns with Sweden's broader commitment to upholding international humanitarian law and ensuring that its military technology serves not only defensive objectives but also peacekeeping and conflict resolution. The philosophy of operating in small mobile units is further demonstrated by the Swedish approach to deploying Arthur units. Rather than relying on a large number of fixed installations, Swedish forces typically deploy Arthur radars in groups of three to ensure that threats in their immediate vicinity are continuously monitored. These mobile groups work in coordination to track and neutralize threats while, while minimizing the system's exposure to counterattacks. Frequent relocation and the strategic use of radar horizons help to avoid detection particularly in situations where the enemy may have electronic warfare capabilities that could compromise the radar's effectiveness. When considering regional competitors, such as Russia's Zupark radar or the United States ANTPQ-53, Arthur's strengths become even more apparent. The Zupark, for instance, while capable of tracking artillery, has less flexibility in terms of mobility and air transportability. This makes Arthur particularly suited to rapid reaction forces and those operating in areas where large, cumbersome systems are impractical. The ANTPQ-53, while capable of greater ranges in some configurations, does not match Arthur in terms of the same level of mobility and ease of deployment in various combat environments. Arthur's ability to track a wide range of artillery systems, including guns, mortars and rockets, offers it a unique flexibility not always seen in its competitors. Its passive electronically scanned array, PES a radar system, allows it to detect threats with minimal risk of detection by enemy forces, ensuring it remains effective even in environments with advanced electronic warfare capabilities. Furthermore, the system's modular design means that it can be integrated into larger, more comprehensive defense networks, providing strategic advantage not only through its individual performance, but also in coordination with other battlefield assets. In conclusion, the Arthur radar system has proven itself as a key component of modern military technology. With its unmatched accuracy, extended detection ranges and superior mobility, it provides significant advantages to those who deploy it. Designed with Sweden's defensive strategy in mind, the system reflects the country's commitment to rapid, adaptable forces capable of protecting civilians, countering enemy threats, and operating in diverse and challenging environments. Arthur continues to evolve in line with emerging military needs, ensuring that it remains a cutting-edge tool in counter-battery warfare and a crucial asset in contemporary conflict scenarios. Its continued success underscores the importance of developing flexible, responsive and effective systems that can operate in an increasingly complex and dynamic global security landscape. <laughs>